So Stephen, you know, people uh, know it. a couple of things yeah. I want to talk about. We So we've got a bunch of Unreal Engine 4 courses. You've got a bunch of Unreal Engine 4 courses. Uh, whenever there's a new version of software, people are like, oh my goodness, I have to learn in the newest version of the software. If it's an Unreal Engine 4 course, it's not going to work. I'm going to be confused. It's not going to make sense. Uh, and what we know as uh, instructors is the engines are nearly always identical. Maybe a button's in a slightly different position or a little bit of a different mm -hmm. layout. Can you tell us the difference between UE4 and UE5 for someone who's just getting in there and saying, okay, how's how does it look different? Is it completely turned upside down? Is it going to be confusing? Um, we can also at any point, if you want to do a screen share so people can see what's going on with our fancy video technology here, we can give that a try. I'm a little bit nervous, but we can give it a try. <laughs> if there's anything you actually want to show on the screen, then uh, please do, and we'll figure out how to make that work. But um, can you can you follow a UE4 course while doing uh, while in Unreal Engine 5? Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, absolutely. What's, what's you the can. difference? Yeah, so it's the same engine. Um, of course, there are some there are some changes, and um, usually those changes are, pop up in the form of a little compiler warning or a compiler error here or there. Um, but I've literally converted entire projects. Like you know, when I say an entire project, I'm talking like one of my giant course projects, like my ultimate shooter project or this particular um, new multiplayer project, converting from an old version to a new version. Um, of course, this latest one I made in UE5 early access and then converted to this one without issues. But I've taken a UE4 project, my ultimate shooter series, and converted to Unreal 5. Um, and there are a couple of changes. There are a couple of um, minor things. And by a couple, I mean out of over thousands of lines of code, like two things I had to change. And and they're they're small. I mean some some variables are now wrapped in a new type of uh, pointer smart wrapper that's called a t object pointer and it's basically like your other uh pointer wrappers if you're familiar with wrappers it's like instead of taking your pointer and using the arrow operator to access a function on that object you you access it through this t object pointer that's wrapping it so you say dot get and then arrow access function or variable. So it's like there are a couple of uh, inherited variables in these engine classes that have that, but um, it's almost like stuff you'll never never even see or run into once or twice and IntelliSense will hover, you know, pop up. And if you're aware of that, that one thing alone, the T object pointer, um, you're going to be fine. And then there's 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 minor things like um, now that there's large world coordinates, right? There's open world support. Um, we're moving more towards using doubles instead of floats. And um, if you know for the doubles not instead of floats, why would why would that be? Do we need more decimal places or less decimal places? Or uh... I don't think it's as much that we need them. It's as much as we're embracing that technology can handle larger data now. Okay. And we and uh, yeah, it's basically like you know our computers are growing up and we can handle doubles instead of floats now. But that's not to say that you can't use floats, but things like the built-in, you know, the F vector, the, stand, the, the vector class Unreal Engine uses, um, previously was X, Y, and Z were floats. Now mm -hmm. X, Y, and Z are actually doubles. Oh, so okay. kind, of, kind of interesting. It's like, you know, your code, like if you're... Uh, yeah, sorry, exactly. I was, was going to say, I was going to say nonsense, so I feel really bad interrupting you. But it's like when you have a party... <laughs> And you're like, okay, I've invited 20 people, but let's just get 100 paper plates and cups, you know, just in case, just in case everyone turns up. You know, who, yeah. who knows? Maybe, maybe Rick won't be crying in the corner because he's got no friends. Maybe some people will turn up. So that's a little bit of the Unreal Engine 5 philosophy. It's like, you never know, this might be huge. So get ready for mm -hmm. it. 